Hello and welcome to Power Play, the show where we bring you face to face with the most influential policy makers of the country. I'm Pranjal Sharma. Joining me now is a very critical portfolio holding minister, Mr. K.V. Thomas. He holds the food portfolio, sir. Thanks very much for being with us. Food is at the heart of the debate and uh, the problems caused by inflation. What are the steps you think that you can take uh, and you are taking to handle this issue? This is more or less a war situation. We have to produce more, then we have to procure, we have to store, we have to transport, then it has to be distributed. Then the money is also involved. Now our, at present, our subsidy component is 63,000 crores only for the PDS system. But then we have to spend money for in the agriculture sector to produce more, we have to improve our productivity. Then we should have better procurement mechanism because there is a damage to the tune of about 2.5 percent about five years back which we have brought down now to about 0.07 percentage. Then we have to improve our storage mechanisms. With the FCI, we have got about 30-31 million tons uh, capacity, another 31-32 million are with the state governments. But still we have, should have more storage mechanisms and our storage mechanisms should go down to the villages. Then comes the transportation. There is a huge transportation mechanism transporting from Punjab to Kerala. This involves a special mechanism for that, special vehicle is needed. Then the PDS system. We should have, a, one of the, we should have an efficient uh, PDS system. Unfortunately, our PDS system overall is on an average uh, competency they have got. So, a lot of uh, loss in this PDS system. Now, when we started modernizing the PDS system, we had about 10.25 uh, uh, lakhs of uh, crores of uh, ration cards in the country. But once we started the modernization, we found that uh, more than 2 crores is bogus. Correct. Yes. So, this is an overall movement. Uh, that but is sir, it's a, each of these issues requires huge reforms and huge investment and huge effort by the centre and the states. Now, production requires far more investment in irrigation, for instance, so that the dependence on monsoon is limited. Now, from the information that you have, what is the kind of uh, way ahead on ensuring that uh, production levels improve? Our production productivity is comparatively very low. If you compare to Japan or even Thailand, our productivity is low. One is we should prudentially use the fertilizers. A few days back we had a discussion on that. It was very astonishing to find that out of the fertilizer is used, especially urea and nitrogen fertilizers used, only 30% is utilized by the plants, 70% is wasted. This shows where we are. Similar irrigation mechanism, even though we have got a lot of water, but it is not properly used for our cultivation purpose. So entire storage, entire cultivation mechanism has to improve, our technology has to be changed. That is why we want to make more investment in agriculture. In the sense, uh, one of the issues and the immediate issue which can be tackled is managing the food grains which are available, sir. There is a high level of wastage, the management is not as efficient. Can in something be done in the short term to take charge of the situation? No, we have taken some concrete steps. So five years back, in the case of FCI, the damage was to the tune of 2.5 percent, which was to the tune of about 2 to 3 lakhs. We have taken some concrete steps. All our go-downs are now computerized. Sitting in my office, I know in what in in in, 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 in a particular uh, go down of the FCI in a particular part of the country, how much is how it is old, how much is there, how much damage is there. So that so as a result of this, we have brought down the damage from 2.5 percent to about 0.07 percent. 
That is when in a year when we handle about 60, 61 million tons of food grains, our damages come to just about 4 to 5,000 tons. But still we are working out. That is one part. That is storage uh, at the time of storage, at the time of uh, transportation. There is another also on which we, pro we consider a committee that the food wasted in marriages and social functions is more than 10 percent. In one of the uh, stories which had, may be correct, may be wrong, that the food wasted in the star hotels in Bombay, if properly utilized, then it can fe feed freely all the slum dwellers in Bombay. So recently we constituted a committee how this food waste during marriages and social functions uh, can be limited. So there are different areas we have to work. First, I'd like to tackle the aspect of the storage level. What investment is being done to improve the facilities for storage, sir? See, at present, the FCI has got about 30, 32 million tons of capacity. And the 30, 32 is with the state governments. And we are going to construct more, about 153 lakh tons capacity within a period of two years. For that, the PEC scheme has come private entrepreneurs guarantee scheme by which we are giving 10 years guarantee. Now this year we have already approved for 70 lakh tons capacity. Next year the remaining will come. So this is going on a war footing with the state governments. We are discussing with the state government. Any target sir to achieve? Every state, you know what we have done is, every state the quantity that we have allotted is, the, if it is a procuring state, the last three years what they have procured. If it is a distributing state or consuming state, what is needed for the four years previous system? This is the calculation we have made. And, and you will get private sector participation? Yes, private sector. More than that, what we have done is the NABAD has agreed to give 2,000 crores to the states for the storage mechanisms which the states can create, smaller ones, 1,000 uh, tons, 500 tons, 250 tons. Similarly, we are discussing with the Agriculture Ministry, yesterday I had a discussion with Pavarji, how this, this uh, Gramin Bandar Yojana can be made. There is a lot of money allotted in the RKVY scheme, Rashtriya Krishi Vigas Yojana scheme, which states can make use of. So, and even Panjait institutions can also come in, in this process of constructing the go-downs. And I found that in some states like Karnataka and Andhra, there are some old storage mechanisms, which also we have to encourage. We, we are not looking, concentrating on the silos, big silos alone, but we have got the old mechanism of storing 100 tons, 500 tons, say 50 tons, which can be stored using the old mechanisms. Sir, so the point you made about uh, wastage at the consumption level, where uh, citizens and consumers are not, uh, are wasting a lot of food, that's a difficult uh, way the government will have some difficulty in managing and uh, policing that. How will you do it? So, first I had a number of discussions with various organizations, individuals who are interested. So, we constitute a committee. So, the committee has given some suggestions. One, we have not made, made any scientific study on this waste state. So, instead of administration has been entrusted with the study. Second, we decided that let the curriculum in every state has something about this storage uh, with the, about this waste management of food, prepared food. So day before yesterday I wrote to Kabil Sibil G, as well as all the state education ministers, why don't you think of putting something as a part of the curriculum. So you want to educate, educate the, the people. people. Then we have started advertising by our consumer affairs ministry. Uh, we have started uh, advertising on. So first we started with awareness campaign. Then once this awareness campaign takes strength, momentum, then we will think about some other mechanisms also. The priority as well as general category or BPL, APL as we say, is decided by the planning commission, not by us.